Chapter 879, Top Great Spirit Vein. Lin Ming continued with old man good fortune all the way forwards. He grasped his red spear as he led away. As they walked down, the forest that was filled with countless massive umbrella-shaped plants began to become bleak and desolate. The ground started to turn bumpy, covered with holes that revealed bare stones that shined with a blue and black light. Looking up at the sky, crushed stones filled the air, shining and glittering like jewels, as if they were a chain of gems. At this time, a figure unexpectedly appeared in front of them. As Lin Ming locked his eyes on this newcomer, his heart immediately turned cold. This figure was an old woman. Her appearance was ancient and her body was bent with rickets. It had actually turned out to be, Si Chi Aixi. What is going on here? Lin Ming's eyes flashed with surprise. He didn't fear Si Chi Aixi at all. Let alone the fact that old man Good Fortune stood behind him, but even if he were alone he would feel no fear at all. Only Lin Ming and old man Good Fortune had entered this space, so it should have been only the two of them here. How did Si Chi Aixi make her way here? Had she managed to enter this world through some other entrance? Even if that were true, then what about the other Azure Divine Kingdom martial artists that were with her? As he looked back at old man Good Fortune, he was surprised to see him in thought. Old man Good Fortune only smiled back at Lin Ming, obviously with the intention of letting him handle this situation. At this time, Si Chi Aixi's hair was a mess and there were wounds marked all over her body, as if she had just emerged from a catastrophic battle. After she saw Lin Ming, she began to stumble her way towards him, saying, Don't attack me, there is a horrifying monster in front of us that has swallowed up so, so many people. Lin Ming's eyebrows shot up. He simply didn't care about her words. At this moment, he suddenly felt something strange about Si Chi body. Once he connected that to the strangeness of seeing her here, his heart suddenly chilled. Something was wrong with this situation. Si Chi eyes suddenly flashed with a cold light. She leapt forwards like a giant caterpillar, stretching out a pair of demon claws as she grasped at Lin Ming's throat. Who are you? Lin Ming loudly shouted out as he drew backwards. The red spear in his hand swept out, cutting the Si Chi in front of him in half. With a miserable scream, a purple monster shaped like a fox flew outwards. This creature's body seemed illusory and unreal. Even though Lin Ming's spear had solidly cut into its body, it actually didn't cause much damage. What is this thing? This was the first time that Lin Ming had seen such a monster that was able to use his own memories to create an illusion. After coming to this strange world, and knowing that Si Chi had also come, it would be very easy to be confused by this scene. If Lin Ming didn't have a silver battle spirit and a formidable will and soul, he would have fallen for this monster's tricks. The purple fox issued out grating screams at Lin Ming, the sharp sounds directly piercing into his eardrums, even with Lin Ming's strength. This sort of sonic attack still caused his blood to surge, making him feel as if he were about to vomit. At this time, the purple fox took this chance to leap forwards, directly impacting towards Lin Ming. Bang! The surroundings changed. Lin Ming suddenly found himself in a vast and endless purple world. Above him, the phantom of a massive fox overlooked him, its jaws open as if it wanted to swallow him. World will. This fox monster actually knew how to use will attacks? Lin Ming couldn't help but he startled. A battle spirit was an elusive and difficult concept to grasp. Even humans could normally only comprehend a battle spirit at a divine sea realm. But for monsters and beasts, this was far more difficult. For instance, Demon Shine would have a nearly zero chance of comprehending his own battle spirit. Lin Ming didn't know how this fox comprehended a battle spirit, nor did he care. In a battle in the world of will, he didn't even fear late divine sea power. Or house. Ka. The silver battle spirit shot out like a bolt of snow white silk, turning into a silver sword that reached across the entire world of will, slicing through the boundless skies. You. How can you have such a powerful will? The purple fox spat out in utter panic and fear. In the next moment, the giant phantom fox's head had been sliced off by Lin Ming's sort of will, a massive amount of blood raining down onto the world. Bang! The purple fox head burst apart, turning into blue smoke that quickly vanished. Lin Ming looked at the blue smoke that filled the air and discovered that this purple fox was an existence that was both material and incorporeal. He simply didn't know what it was. This was his first time encountering such a strange existence. It is a dream bear fiend. Old man Good Fortune slowly said, this is a legendary creature that takes the dreams and souls of others as its food. It can hypnotize human martial artists and specialize in having them dream so that it can swallow them. It can have a person sleep forever, never awakening again. Or perhaps it might just kill them in their dreams. If someone were to be killed by this dream or fiend in their dreams, then they really would die in reality. This sort of vicious beast is extremely powerful in will and soul. Thus it was able to form its own battle spirit. At the start, I was nearly tricked by it. Dream or fiend. Lin Ming repeated this creature's name. Back when he had made his way up the Sorcerer Pagoda, he had encountered a creature named Yanmo who survived in a spatial slit and lived off of the dreams of others. This sort of creature was naturally familiar with illusions and ghosts, and it was nearly impossible for a human to guard against. Especially for those people that had hard demons lurking within them, it was extremely easy for their mental state to fall to this sort of attack. The boundless universe contained all possibilities and all sorts of strange vicious beasts. There were countless methods to kill others. If one wasn't careful then anyone could easily die. Let's continue forwards. These types of dimensional realms are usually interlinked with each other as certain areas. After some time, it is likely that we'll run into other martial artists. Lin nodded and continued forwards. After just an instant's stick of time, a finger-thick red line suddenly shot out at Lin Ming's neck. This red line was as quick as a bolt of lightning, forming a red phantom a thousand feet behind it, 
leaving one unable to respond in time. Concept of time. Lin Ming's pupils shrank as the flow of time suddenly slowed down around him. His red spear thrust out like a snake, piercing the front of this red line. Bang. A fog of blood burst into the air. Lightning spread along the red line, swallowing it up all the way down. Kill. His spear point swept out, forming a crescent moon. An arc of spear light recklessly shot out, splitting that 1,000 foot red line down the middle. What is this thing? Lin Ming looked at the strange life form on the ground and felt a creepy tingle on his scalp. This finger thick, 1,000 foot long roundworm didn't have eyes or ears. It only had a single circular opening at the front that had rows of sharp teeth. These teeth were like barbs and glowed with a ghostly green light. They were obviously poisonous. This should be a vampiric roundworm. It is a type of parasite found in the divine realm. In the divine realm, there are countless desolate ancient beasts with the bloodline of god beasts. These creatures can have bodies a thousand feet long, with blood vessels as thick as massive trees and thousands of feet long, or even tens of thousands of feet long. This vampiric roundworm parasite specially latches onto the blood vessels of these ancient desolate beasts and sucks their blood with their only mouth. Because they grow in a lightless environment, they have no eyes or ears, and only depend on their sense of smell to feel out a strength of blood vitality. Because your blood vitality is so potent, that is the reason that this creature attacked you. Although its defenses are weak, its speed is extremely quick, it can easily pierce through the heart of someone without them noticing. So it was a parasite. Lin Ming gulped, speechless. This was a 1,000 foot long parasite. Your concept of stagnation was decent, able to change the flow of time. But in the end you were relying on the entire energy field, and there was no difference in density in your energy field. It was the same all around, resulting in a weakened effect. If you could concentrate this concept into an area and directly launch it towards that empiric roundworm, then you could have its speed drop ten times more. Unless it had a strength to break apart your energy field, you would then be able to freely slaughter it. Although old man Good Fortune's martial talent was average and he only held the most minuscule role in the divine realm, he had still lived for 7,000-8,000 years. With his cultivation, vision, and experience that was even richer than demon shines, even casually giving Lin Ming some pointers was of great benefit to him. No wonder they say that inheritances are the foundation for a sex existence. With inheritances, walking down one's martial path will become that much easier. Otherwise, without knowing the way to go, even constantly being in seclusion would make it difficult to take even the tiniest steps. With a teacher like old man Good Fortune, who was familiar with the laws of space and time, Lin Ming intended to incorporate some space and time laws into his attacks. Old man Good Fortune could point out some flaws in his abilities and then Lin Ming would be able to make adjustments accordingly and gain benefits from that. Following this, the more fights he crossed, the easier it became. Evil spirits, demonic wraiths, vicious beasts, all sorts of strange and fantastical enemies fell before Lin Ming's spear. Lin Ming fought like this the entire time, tempering himself in true battle. Like this, they continued for seven days and seven nights. Because of Lin Ming's strong regenerative abilities, he only needed to rest once. During this time, Lin Ming encountered many tricky enemies and was also injured several times. Even so, he had never needed Old Man Good Fortune to help him. With Old Man Good Fortune's guidance, Lin Ming gained an increasingly profound understanding into the concepts of space and time. He was able to integrate the understandings he had gained from the Jade Slips into his spear attacks, becoming more and more skilled at doing so. Like this, on the tenth day, Lin Ming and Old Man Good Fortune passed through a thin space barrier, coming into another space altogether. The heaven and earth origin energy here was extremely rich, and high mountain peaks shot into the skies, extending all the way up. The blue skies were awash with clouds as if they were a painting. The ground was an endless grassland, and there were all sorts of mystical trees and rare flowers growing here. This was not spirit grass that was purposefully planted here, but wild medicinal plants that had naturally bred here because of the amazingly thick heaven and earth origin energy. What great rich heaven and earth origin energy! There should be a top grade spirit vein here. There might even be several top grade spirit essence stones that have formed here. A top grade spirit essence stone was the very source of a spirit essence stone mine. These types of spirit essence stones had nearly vanished from the world. It was already considered very fortunate for a single top grade spirit essence stone to be extracted from an entire spirit essence stone mine. Moreover, most of them had already been used up. These top grade spirit essence stones would only appear if new mines were discovered. This was a treasure that would cause even a divine sea supreme elder to go mad with envy for, brutally struggling with others for it. It was enormously helpful for a martial artist to make breakthroughs and bottlenecks. Even a dignified divine sea powerhouse like Shai Bai had only collected a small piece of top grade spear essence stones one sixth the size of a normal sized piece. Shai Bai had given this piece to Lin Ming to help him cross life destruction. At that time, the tiny scrap of top grade spear essence stone had been very helpful to Lin Ming. It wasn't an exaggeration to say that an entire high quality top grade spear essence stone wouldn't be much worse than a heaven's tap demon god bone. Top grade spear essence stone. Lin Ming's eyes brightened. Now that his spirit body had been 100% tempered, he was countless times stronger than other life destruction martial artists at his cultivation level. His foundation was incomparably solid. As long as he had enough of these top grade spear essence stones then he would be able to make great strides in his cultivation and be able to rapidly break through boundaries.